Do you have like a YouTube intro? Really? I have a song. I have a, Ooh, you have a song? I do. Be your best, be your best. You can do it, be your best. Be your means beauty in Japanese. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello. And if you're coming back, thank you. Today I have a super special guest. His name is Langi. Yeah. Give it up for Langi. Whoa, let's try to get hard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Langi. I'm also another content creator and I do stuff online, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. So yeah. His Japanese is fire for hire, by the way. Fire for hire. So I'm gonna leave the. Hold on, let me make sure this is working. Yeah, I hope it's, yeah, it's working. Yeah, thank you, drink some man. Hot loopers, loud. So I'm gonna leave his info down below if you want to get in on that Japanese. Also, he wrote books. Just so you know, I'm gonna leave his social info and I'm gonna leave the books. Don't, don't be humble, okay? You American. <laughs> you American brag about this. He wrote books. He wrote some books. So. So, you know, if you're interested in that. Thank you. And um, today we're here to talk about skin. Everything skin, everything makeup, mm. I guess. Um, I know nothing about it. And she's your expert for forever. Oh my gosh. I like love her. Yes. To can, to can. So I'm here to ask questions and test her knowledge. Okay. All right. Hopefully I pass. <laughs> okay. So I guess what's the first, what's the first uh, question so, we got? I was wondering, mm. I've heard of sake mm. being used in, I don't know, lotion, um, um, face cream, you know, mm. that kind of stuff. I was wondering if it actually has any effects on your skin. Does it make you more beautiful? Does it not? Does it dry out your skin? What's the, what's the, what's the information on that? What's the scoop? The scoop what's the dupe? So the scoop the dupe on the sake, realistically, it depends on how the people formulate it. But generally speaking, they're not going to formulate it to dry out your skin. And if they do that, then they did a bad job. And you should probably ask for a refund. But so for sake, I think sake is like fermented. Mm -hmm. and a fermented ingredient, right? It's like a fermented rice. I think I was going to say vodka, mm -hmm. but that's Russia. Mm -hmm. It's called koji. Koji? It's a type of yeast. Yeah, so actually koji-san is an ingredient on its own, mm -hmm. which is, I think koji-san is based on like, like the fermentation creates like a byproduct and then I think that that byproduct is what they use for actually um, skin brightening so by the way skin brightening and whitening are different whitening is if you're trying to lighten your actual skin tone like you're trying to Michael Jackson a little bit on it that's not what we promote here on this channel we promote skin brightening which is just evening out the skin tone I mean if you think about it when you put on foundation that's what you're trying to do you're trying to even out your skin tone so why don't you try and achieve that before you even get to the foundation Ooh, that is so good you see okay mm. so cold design is but kojisan is like its own like thing over there but yeah with sake rolling it back fermented ingredients like for example um pitera from sk2 it's also a fermented ingredient and i believe that's also from rice i believe it was like the, the story supposedly allegedly was that they were doing like at a sake brewery they saw that the old lady's hands they had the most wrinkliest face the way that they make it seem they're like these ladies are decrepit and um that's big but their hands were like baby's hands Whoa. so they were like oh we need to get on this and they did that mm. so they actually kind of like tested not really tested it out but like kind of proved it that way one way they figured out that oh this has like a kind of like a healing effect towards your skin yeah so they saw that and i'm sure that they took that and they were like okay how can we make money off of this essentially so fermented ingredients i believe that pitera or sk2 they say they have like amino acids and things like that so generally speaking fermented products with fermented ingredients which i believe will include sake will have things like amino acids which are good for um moisturizing the skin okay that's why we be eating natto in japan that's know? right mm -hmm. Come on. that's right you gotta get that you gotta get on that natto okay. do natto skip your natto <laughs> Don't do it. Guys, I've never heard that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my god. It helps with things like that. And I believe it has a bunch of okay. other stuff too, but I don't have that uh, memorized yet, mm -hmm. so I can't recite it off the top of my head, unfortunately. So do you have any recommendations for like lotion or I don't know, like makeup that has sake in it? So I recently did a video, I think the last video that I put up was for this brand Kiko Masamune that I introduced and they are all it's it's interesting because we started this conversation because Langi mentioned this sake brewery but from Fukushima and but it was not Kiku Masamune and I was like oh okay I've never heard of that <laughs> okay clearly I'm not as learned as I thought I would the one that I was talking about it's basically the same thing it's just you use sake in skincare again for moisturizing what was the point of this I think I got lost I'm not gonna lie. do you have any recommendations recommendations okay so <laughs> <laughs> So if you're broke like another choke like me, then I would recommend Kik Masamuri because their products is cheap are but they, also big. Artichokes are broke. I didn't know that. Do you think artichokes have money? <laughs> they don't. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my, sorry. 
<laughs> sorry, sorry. We're in this oh office in um, we're in this office in Shinjuku. Yeah. So like it's like a rented space, but like there's people I don't know. They'll they'll survive. They It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. see hard jokes ain't got no money. Mm. So I would recommend Kikuma Samone. And then if you want to start getting into more expensive with sake, I don't, right off the top of my head, mm. I don't have any other brands. Okay. So I would uh, I mean, make it's it. probably like rare, not really rare, mm. but very underground. Mm -hmm. Lots of people don't. And even, and even if they have products, they probably don't know that it has like sake in it, I guess. So it is what it is. But we, we all are not here. We hate to learn. Thank you. No, all right. Thank you for questions. questions. Okay, okay. So um, as you know, mm. I look a little bit different from, you know, your typical European or, you know. I couldn't tell. I guess, American. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering if there are any, like, makeup products in Japan. So, yeah, we live in Japan, by the way. Mm. Um, if there are any makeup products or, I don't know, just skin, skin care products for people of color here in Japan. Okay, that's an excellent question. Oh, actually, this might be good because someone had asked me about recommending products for hyperpigmentation, I believe specifically for people of color. And I was like, I'll put that video out in August. And I have not put out that video yet. But Langi has so wonderfully blessed us. This <laughs> is, I based some of it off of this lady. I'm gonna put her up here. Her name is LA Beautyologist. And she is an absolute gorgeous, wonderful lady. And she is an esthetician. She has a lot of information. And it's interesting because she specifically said that from her experience as an esthetician, she doesn't think that vitamin C is the best skin brightening ingredient for people of color. Because mm. uh, vitamin C is typically known as like, okay, this is a really good skin brightening ingredient, but she was like, mm -mm -mm. I don't know about that. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm all ears. That's not to say that it's going to ruin your skin or anything, but just there are better alternatives. Mm -hmm. So two of the ones that I have working on the video now is one ingredient is tranexamic acid and another ingredient is the ingredient we mentioned earlier, kojisan or kojic acid. And tranexamic acid, some of the some products that have that are, for example, the Roto Seyaku, the Roto Pharmaceuticals, the Shirojun line. So they have the Shirojun Premium and then they have the Shirojun Regular line, which I have videos on this one, I have videos on this one and then for Koji-san the one that I know there's a couple I believe one by Kosei is a brand that they have some products with Koji-san and one thing that I do see a lot of I follow a lot of like dermatology color and creators okay. that you know deeper cool. skin tones and they there's one esthetician so it's not an esthetician it's an American dermatologist her name is Dr. Alexis Stephens and the next part I butchered it like so I'm just gonna put in Dr. Stephens video here is the you friendly reminder that every viral skincare product or trend may not be for you. Kojic acid is the main active found in the soap bar that's most likely contributing to this reaction. I'm a huge fan of kojic acid for fading dark marks and hyperpigmentation, but it is known to be sensitizing and can cause irritation, especially when used at high concentration. I generally recommend anywhere between 0.5 to 1%, and I always recommend it in a serum, a lotion, or a moisturizer, never in a bar, because bars are going to be introduced while you're cleansing your skin, and your skin is the most vulnerable during cleansing. Oh, whoa. Yeah. That's scary. Right? Oh my god. So I'll put that info as well down below. So watch out if you buy and like if people like because i say kojic acid so don't be Yo, buying that homemade soap okay be careful mm -hmm. i didn't know that oh my god okay mm -hmm. thank you yeah, I don't know. What? so that's definitely something to look out for but products that are made by either like i mean i'm introducing products by japanese companies but you know if they're made by american companies and they have kojic acid and it's like a you know company with a history that has like a what is it well established mm -hmm. something like that. i don't know word i don't know where you there <laughs> <laughs> i had someone comment one time they're like do you know how to talk and i'm like just on you i don't <laughs> Take pride in that. I will remain ignorant. I don't know how to speak English. So, whatever word it is that I'm looking for, just companies that are well trusted and they have research in their backed up that do have products with kojic acid, I would recommend trying something like that. But I'll put, I'll look up a little bit before we, I put up the video and then I'll put the products up here if you're interested in that. I like that. Ooh, mm. y'all, I'm about to do some makeup. Like, I'm just gonna go. Did you ask something else? No, but I'm going to. Okay, okay. All right, we go. I did wanna, okay, so like maybe 10 years ago, mm. I was obsessed with this, the, this Kore Korean trend. I don't know if it's still a trend anymore. Mm. Glass skin. Oh, yeah. I kept on seeing all these pictures of all mm. these people with like little, like flawless skin. It's like beautiful. I'm like, mm. how do you get that? So I started buying um, Korean products. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I was buying, but I followed this like seven step facial kind of routine and I was doing it like, I don't know, once or twice a week. And it was giving me effects and mm. stuff. But like, have you, like, have you heard about any of that stuff? Like, have you heard about it? And like, what do you think about it? Like, is it do you really need like seven products to make your skin look good or is it good to stick with like two? 
So that is honestly an excellent type. Excellent type. I would say it depends on your skin type. Realistically, that you need seven steps, you don't. Realistically, you don't. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So what I did a video talking about was called acne skincare and basically what dermatologists recommend. I mean dermatologists they will recommend like what is it called the the safest level the like most I and so basically it's a cleanser a decent cleanser a moisturizer and a sunscreen. That's basically that's your basic skincare routine right there. So anything that you add in addition to that is just like you know a plus. That wouldn't you say? Three set? Three set. <laughs> three set. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so you just need these three products then. So what I did think was interesting though is because Asian skincare from I think back in the day they've used toners and yeah. toners oh, different to oh. how we would use toners because toners are apparently back in the day when you would wash your face. This is I'm, I'm a little bit talking I'm a bit here but when you would wash your face like it would mess up the pH and so you would go in with a toner and then that would help balance the pH but then after a while the cleansing the cleansers that we would start using then it didn't mess up our face you didn't need a toner afterwards but then it was just like a really harsh thing and it was just like okay you don't you don't need a toner so for a long time in the states it was like oh we don't really need a toner but then again in Asia at the same so obviously like history is going like like parallel like this but then it's almost like a <laughs> Oh no, we're oh, going opposite. <laughs> <laughs> no, we over here like on like you know on tag on tag, and you have a uh, here inside Wal Maria, and then you have here inside Marley, and they're going parallel, right? But we only find out afterwards. <laughs> I love that. Pa I love that parallel. <laughs> Sorry, I cut away oh, everything to Shingeki no Kyojin. No, it's good though because. It's the best time. So in Asia they had, at least in Japan, probably in other places in Asia too, they would use uh, toners. And so then people would be like, oh, do you need a toner? Because after a while we'd be like, no, toner's gonna mess up your skin, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But here toners are different. They're very hydrating, moisturizing. Ooh, okay. And so what I, this is, what I, I remember seeing this video maybe a year or two years ago, and I'm pretty sure I know the dermatologist, but because I can't point the exact video, I don't wanna like be like, oh, is this person? Mm -hmm. So supposedly, allegedly, between Western people or like old Beijing and then between Toyojin, like Eastern people of Eastern descent, they there's difference in the skin. And generally speaking, what is it called? Eastern people, they'll tend to have a thicker dermis. And what's a dermis? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's a dermis? <laughs> oh, you're not, you're not that three <laughs> So the skin has three layers, generally speaking, three layers. So you have the uppermost layer is the epidermis, and then the middle layer is the dermis, and that's where your collagen and your elastin is. That's where we get like that bounciness and stuff in our skin. Ooh, okay. Yeah. And then the lower layer is the hikasoshiki, and that's where like the like the fat layer and stuff is, and beneath that, I believe, is the muscles. And so the topmost layer, the epidermis, in people of Eastern descent, it was said to be thinner, but the epidermis is thicker, which in my mind, because you know how like they say Asian don't Asian? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, because I'm like, if they have a thicker dermis, and that's what gives you the elasticity, I would think that as because they age, right? Just like we age, but then it's like they stay youthful looking for long. That's my theory. That's my oh, theory based based solely okay. on that one thing that I may or may not heard. It may have been a theory. The thesis. What you say? The next oh, Einstein with the beauty field. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> snap clap. Snap clap. Mm -hmm. So then, Gyakuni, Gyakuni, mm -hmm. people of Western descent, they have a thicker epidermis that top layer so that top layer is where you have like a lot of more natural moisturizing factors and ceramides and things like that so it's like they they would need a toner because you have that Whoa. top layer of that top layer of moisture that's thick so that's you know based on something again that may or may not have been a dream i'm pretty sure the doctor said it but i'm just saying and that's so that's my theory based on that's that crazy would that be like because of the environment or like how we evolved everything i guess i don't know <laughs> it, it could be i honestly have no idea but I remember when I heard that and I put like those two things together, I'm like, oh, I think. God, talking about that, like, very mm -hmm. time. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so, sorry, to answer your question, you don't need it, but because, you know, living in different environments and oh, as we get older, you're going to lose everything. You're going to lose elasticity. You're going to lose your moisture. You're going to lose money. You you're going to lose your friends. When you you're going to lose you're going to lose everything. <laughs> oh my God. I mean. <laughs> Am I wrong? I'm just saying. So if you, you know, using that stuff or using the skincare and stuff, you can help to 
you can't obviously replenish it to the level of like when it's being you know being produced in the what is it, the prime of your youth whatever yeah. but you can to a degree help you know, bring it back a little okay. bit you know help with that you don't need seven steps but whatever your skin can take and you have the time to do it and you have the the finances you know to do that and i would say go ahead why thank not? you oh my god you know i spent literally like a hundred dollars on these products <laughs> Yeah, I know. I was like, I'm gonna get everything. Oh my god, it's all Korean. I love it. <laughs> and so I went like shopping, and I spent like a hundred dollars on I think seven or eight products. Mm. And I was doing the routine for for something like maybe two, three months or something. Um, and you have to show no effects and stuff. But God, just to do, just to like, you know, like do that almost every single week. I'm like, is this, is this worth it? I was like, oh, is this worth it? So, mm -hmm. oh, just three. Oh, I'm about to go shopping right now. <laughs> After this, let's go. My favorite thing, let's go. Oh, I like them. Mm. Okay. Look at that. Mm. And so, have you ever done something like that? Like, a, um, ooh, okay, here's a good question. Mm. Since you're a beauty expert, what is your facial routine? My facial routine? Yeah, do you have one? Yes. No. So, I, I just said, I was like, what? I'm going to be a <laughs> And I'm not fighting with you too. I'm like, oh, I get you, girl. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it. That's what friends are for. I'm like, I know what you said, but you didn't say anything. <laughs> But so my skincare routine, I try to use, I feel like when you use a product, it takes, cause the skin cycle, the normal skin cycle would be 28 days from when it's created at the basal layer to it goes up to the, like it goes up, it transforms as it makes its way up and then it becomes aka or like, you know, dead skin cell and that boom, it just like falls off. But it, you know, it's to protect us from the outside world and to protect, keep our moisture and stuff in. So we're literally shedding. Yeah, all oh the time. God, we're shedding all the time. All the time. Ooh, that's so Right? And I mean, it, it, honestly, I'm like, mm, Jesus, you went a little off on that. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, you ate with that yeah, skin to get your teeth off. Yes, yes, like. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, I mean, we're gonna have a lot of time. But I usually try to put what it is that I use, my IG. I'm not here to advertise my IG, but that's usually what I try to, when I do it, I put up my skincare routine. So I usually try to use the products to the length of when they finish using it, or if I hate it, and I just want to throw out the window. I honestly, yes. I'm having such a good time, but I do, we're doing collabs, so I do want to do a video for Langi and his YouTube channel, because he won't start a YouTube channel, and I'm going to link that down below. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, today, we're going to end the video here. Thank you so much Thank for Thank you. Oh my god, I had so much fun. Can we do more of these? Yes, like, please. Oh, I love this. Ooh, okay. I love this a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay, but thank you so much, and as always, I hope you have a good day. Remember, God has to be your best. Ooh, be no, your best, so. be your best, you can do it. Oh, be your best. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're like, be all me. Beauty in Japanese. Yes. Okay. <laughs>